through the pandemic, it's been hard to do things. <laughs> I've been trying to do some painting lately. I just do it like sporadically. It's not anything that I do all the time. Usually when I'm painting, I don't think about anything. It's nice to stop my thoughts for like 30 minutes or 45 minutes, whatever it is. I grew up in Ethiopia and I've seen many people that were unable to like, go to the doctor, including some people in my family because resources like doctors or even hospitals weren't readily available. Ever since I was a child, I always told my parents that I wanted to be a doctor, so I've been pursuing that. I just had like this innate feeling, I guess, that I should be helping people. Being Black and working in science, I mean, it's a lot of pressure, I feel like. As much as I want to be a role model and I want to take advantage of, you know, this opportunity that I've been given, it's also hard to try and maintain a perfect picture for people so that somebody will be more likely to hire somebody that looks like me because I've, I've set the standard. I think being able to break into these spaces and make some type of impact, I think for me that's what Black excellence means. I want to not only leave a mark, not just in the work that I do, but also making sure that doing all that I can for others in positions like me and for people that would come after me. My name is Yemi Suraj Pasha, and I go by Yemi. I'm a research associate at the Allen Institute, and I work on the gene therapy project in the human cell types group.